Today we are going to take a look at how to create a test suite as well as creating a script-based test case and a behavior-driven development test case. Let's start. First I'm clicking on File and choose New Test Suite. Right now I can enter the name for the test suite. I just name it Example Test Suite. I could also choose another path by clicking on Browse but you don't have to do it since my path is correct. Squish remembers the path that you used the last time. So I'm clicking on next. In this dialog, I can choose the toolkit for the test suite and the edition that I would like to use. So I'm going to stick with Java. If you only have one edition enabled in your license, you will not get this dialog. So this dialog only pops up if you have multiple editions in your license key. As next, we can choose the script language. I stick with Python. And now I can choose my application under test or call it out. If you already had applications registered, you can choose them by clicking here. Since I do not have one, I have to do this first by clicking on browse. I'm on the right path. This is just one of the examples which is shipped with the package. Click on finish. So right now there are different ways to create a test case. I can go on file, say new test case. And here I can choose between script test case and BDD. I choose script test case as well as the name for the test case. So I just call it script test case and click on finish. So the test case created, some files are also created, but I also could use this little icon here. You can choose the default. So I click on BDD and also can name it BDD test case. And if I would click directly on this icon, a new BDD test case would be created. As you see, there's a difference between BDD and the normal test case. But for now, I would like to take a look at the test suite in general, what kind of files we have generated. So I'm opening the test suite. Here we see three different folders and a file. So inside of the normal test case, there's a test py file, which would contain the test script itself. Since the test script is empty, there is no things shown here. The BDD test case is a little bit different, which contains two different files. The first one has some predefined things that are needed for the BDD. And uh, yeah, if you need further information about that, we can make another video. But for now, more important is the feature file, which we also could see here. So the text, the description, the same here. Let's go back. The test suite con file contains information that I have chosen before. So the name of the application, the used language, the name of the test cases that I created, as well as the edition. And as well, we have this uh, shared folder which contains another folder. Um, let's take a look at scripts. This name py file contains the new object map. So we changed from text-based to script-based object map. The BDD hooks file is needed for the BDD test case. And we have steps, which is also only for the BDD test case. If you have further questions regarding test suite and test case creation, please let me know. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, get in touch with us by writing an email to squish at froglogic.com. You can check out Squish on your own by requesting a free trial. You might also be interested in our second product, Coco, which is a multi-language coach coverage tool. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Bye bye.